Here is that 3080 tie. Let's see how it looks. This card is heavy. I'd say comparing it to, I don't have any EVGA 3090s, but this thing compared to like my MSI 3090 or I got some Asus 3090s, I'd say the EVGA feels significantly beefier. I don't know if they updated the cooling on these and fixed them. But they are heavy, heavy cards. And they have a huge heat sink. It's like the whole card is just a massive heat sink. Really big fans. Big heat sink. Takes three eight pen. Reference edition 39, 3080 ties only take two. These ones take three. Actually, the 3080 FTW3 also has three pins on it. Got the memory module there. There's also a bio switch in here. Right there. See that thing right there? Right under my thumb. I'm not sure what that does. I haven't looked it up. I tried mining a couple stocks, a couple cards on regular, some with this switch switched. Doesn't make a difference. My brother looked it up. Sure, it's easy to look up. He just said something about it. it. Stops doing fan checks or something. Temperature checks, maybe. I don't know. Either way, it doesn't matter for mining. There you have it. This is going in the build. The brand new 3080 tie. Here is the current setup on the 3060 tie build. We've got six cards on there. It's actually 530, sorry. 3080 tie. This one's actually five 3080 ties, one regular 3080. So I'm going to be taking that apart next and putting full 3080 ties on there. As you can see it is running a 2400 watt and a 1400 watt server PSU. That's going to stay the same. I will split the power up. Five cards on one, two cards on the other. And where am I getting the other cards? Let me show you. This one right here. That will come off of this rig and go under the other one. And then I've got that new card that I just built. That'll give me 7 30, 80 ties. Let's get this done. Here is my motherboard. Took all, everything else off of there. Here's just the old power supplies. And here's a whole whack of risers. This is uh, going to be a fairly labor intensive build here. Old 10 series cards there I took off. Next step. I need to pull apart another. Here, I'll just go show you. So this is the case that I want for the build. So I have to pull all these cards off of this one. Take that, that's gonna be a temporary motherboard. These cards are gonna to move to a more permanent motherboard. But I want that case for the new build. So, let's take two rigs apart. Here they all are. Here are the rigs that have to come apart. I'm taking that case, that motherboard, these cards, and this card, and I'm going to put them all together with these power supplies. And then these cards are going to go I don't know where. This case, I guess. I'll put them on this case. So this is, uh, this is a lot of work. What I need to do is get a GoPro or something and a chest mount, and then I could just record doing all this, but I don't have that yet. 
I'm thinking of buying the GoPro 10 when it comes out. Rumor is later this month it should be announced. Hopefully that comes out soon. And I could use that for mountain biking and do some mountain bike videos as well. But for now, I will take this all apart and we'll see how it goes. This guy will soon be full of 10, no, 3080 cards. Here, look at this. Let's measure this here. Okay. You can see here, this case I'm going to put it on, it's 30 and a half inches, and the one that it is currently on is 25 and a quarter. So that gives me five more inches, and one more card is going to go on it, so those cards should be more, even a little more space between each of the cards, give it some more airflow. These are hot cards. But enough chatting, let's get at it. Cards are swapped over. I tried to leave them plugged in to move it. I don't know if that was a good idea. I gotta plug them all, unplug them all from the breakout boards anyways. Because it's just, it's too messy. In order to do this properly, this is gonna be a nice permanent setup. I gotta redo all that wiring. I leave the cards plugged in, but I gotta unplug them on this side. Get some nice pretty cable management going there. Here's my two power supplies, 2400 watts, 1400 watts, three breakout boards, power connector between them to link them together. All right, let us continue. Okay, cards are up and they've been rewired. I got some nice pretty cabling here. Everything's all tied nicely, each of the cables, each of the cards have their own nice strand of cables. These ones here have longer ones, way longer, and these ones over here have short cables because the power supplies are going to go underneath there on that side. So let's start hooking stuff up. There we are, all done. All these cables, they're all tied together for each card, so each card has a nice bundle. Power supplies down there. Got it split up. These two cards into one power supply, 1400 watts, and then the other five go into the 2400 watts. Motherboard there, running it SMOS on a SSD. Wires could use a little bit more cleaning up, but you know it's not too bad. Easy to easy to get at now. Okay, this one's done. Time to go plug it in. And I got these ones swapped back on here. Actually, I'm gonna throw one of those 10 series. I'm gonna throw the 1070 on here as well. Might as well fill it up. Got a thousand watt, at 850. 1,000 watts gonna run a 3080, two 10, 30, 60 ties, and a 1070. And then these two 10, no, sorry, these two 30, 60 ties, and the motherboard are on that white PSU there, 850 watts. So everything's swapped over now. I'm gonna fire it all up. Let's see how it goes. Fire it up. go, just fired it up. That's a lot of nice EVGA lights on there. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, thirty, eighty ties on that board. Let's go check out the software, see how it's doing. Well, here is that 3060 Ti rig. I am having one heck of a time getting this thing started, as you can see. I can get six cards recognized but it just won't take the seventh card when i had amd cards on there it ran seven just fine but it does not seem to want to run seven of these so i'm not sure what's going on i just powered it up again oh look at that what do we got here it's got a splitter in it Look, it's reading five cards now only. There's seven in it. We've got five cards, plus the 
plugged in regularly with risers and then two on a splitter same as how I had it before but it does not seem to want to work you're only re I moving that splitter around to try some different locations but it is only reading five cards now, so I'm going to keep fiddling with this, I guess, and see see what I can find. Kind of frustrating though, because it worked just fine before. Still having issues with that system. I am updating the BIOS. It is odd. What's going on here? So I've tried moving these slots all over the place. I've tried a bunch of different ones. I tried putting the riser with just six, I'm sorry, the splitter with just six cards. Any combination of slots, any combination of the splitter, whatever, as long as I have six cards in there, it works. As soon as I add my seventh, it does not work. Whereas before, it worked with seven cards. So I'm going to try updating the BIOS, redoing all the settings, and hopefully that works. I really want to get those seven cards working on there. That rig will be amazing. So I have a bit of a broken heart. I've only got six cards on that rig, and it's really ugly spacing now. I couldn't get the seventh one to, to work. No matter what I did, no matter what bio settings I went into, I could not get seven NVIDIA cards to work on that board. This is an MSI, what is it? MSI something 97. MSI Z97 Gaming 5. MSI Z97 Gaming 5. Could not get that to work. I tried both of these different US PCI splitters. I tried throwing it everywhere in there, bio settings, you name it. Couldn't get it to work. So that card, that rig is only running six cards now. I was really looking forward to seven. So what I had to do was put it on this rig. So this one has two of these cards on it now. Two 30, oh this is just a regular 3080. So it's got a 3080 and a 3080 tie and four 3060 ties on there. So a little bit sad, but I guess six is the most I can get on that board. Maybe I have to try a different motherboard on there. It's kind of disappointing. I'll show you what it looks like in the software right now. Here is that random build. I've got the 3080 tie, 3080, 3060 ties. 57 and a half on the 3080 tie. 49.1 on the 3080. These are running a little low. Let's bump that up five watts here. This should be running about 50, this should be running about 58, but I'll fiddle with it later. Here's a 3080, 57 and a half on everything. This one card here is only running 55.9 though. It should be running closer to 58. I bumped the wattage up to 330 on it, but it's still, that's running slow. I gotta see what's going on. So that's what I have for now, I guess. All the cards are running, but I'm pretty disappointed that I couldn't get that other 3080 tie on that rig. If anyone has any ideas on how to get that working, let me know down in the comments. I would absolutely love to have a seven card 3080 tie rig going. It really bugs me that I spaced all the cards out nice and then it won't run seven cards. Drive me crazy, absolutely crazy. But for now, We'll see. I always say I'm not going to get more cards, but you never know. I got everything up and running right now, 100%, so I guess we leave it for now, do a little bit more research, find out a better solution to get seven cards running on that rig. If not, I guess it's going to be on six for now. Let me know in the comments if anyone knows how to fix that thing. I'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy.